I'm trying to break up with her, but she keeps coming back. But I don't know if she's worth my time. So that's where we're at. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Veronica and I'm a part-time reseller. I'm also a full-time educator and a mom of a small child. And today we're gonna talk about what sold in the week of March 14th through March 20th, 2021. So it's the uh, third week of March at this point and it's been another interesting week. I feel like for the past few weeks, I've been telling you guys how things have been really hard for me in several, areas of my life but reselling has been really great and it's certainly another week like that i might go into more detail <laughs> at some point i'm currently not ready to but let's just say it was rough uh, among other things i got sick and i just have a lot going on in terms of my full-time job and just have a lot of my mind and so i haven't been in the greatest place but reselling has kind of been my little my little light at the end of the tunnel because i had a really great sales week and i'm so excited to share my sales with you today if reseller content is something that you're interested in if you like to see unboxings and thrift hauls and what sold videos and also updates on unboxings and thrift hauls then this is the right channel for you and i would love it if you would join our little community here and uh, subscribe to my channel and also give this video a like if you're having a good time also give it a like if you can hear my child having a ball in the background somewhere <laughs> i'm filming this on a sunday morning so it's what you get that's what you get here a little bit of comic relief i've been told that nobody else can hear my child just me when i'm filming these so I don't know if that's a good thing or if it just makes me sound like I'm crazy, but I promise there's a child in this house and yes, he's loud. Okay, we're gonna jump into my sales in just a second here. I'm gonna share my screen as always. I'm gonna do a different format today though because I had so many sales. <laughs> That sounds horribly braggy, but like I did. So I don't think my computer can handle having all the tabs open. So I'm just going to show you my Poshmark closet with the soles um, of this past week. And then we're going to go through eBay and Macari. In case I didn't mention it, I sell on Poshmark, eBay and Macari, even though Macari has been very quiet for me, but I also haven't really put too much effort into it. But this week I made one sale on Macari. So anyway, uh, real quick, if you're new here, I always try to wear a thrifted item in all of my videos or a pre-owned item. It doesn't necessarily have to be thrifted by me. Today, it doesn't look like much, but it's just like a nice little shell kind of tunic top by Kato not a brand i would pick up for reselling it's very plain and black but it does have a little bit of uh, lace detail is it lace is it crochet i don't know at the bottom here and it kind of has the uh the chalk bite or handkerchief silhouette anyway if i remember to take a picture i will include it it's not super exciting but i figured I'll try to wear a thrifted item in all of my videos. Also, I just really like wearing black. <laughs> anyway, let's just talk sales, let's talk numbers. <sighs> We're gonna have to start with eBay today because I have an exciting update on the skirt that we <laughs> talked about last week. So we're gonna jump into that and start there. Okay, so let's start with the most exciting development of this week. Uh, you may remember from last week, I had a very sad moment at the end of my last What's Sold video because this Christian Lacroix rose gold full skirt with this beautiful butterfly embroidery. Let me show you some close-ups. I mean, it's so stunning and gorgeous. This had sold, but the buyer hadn't paid. Um, it was an international buyer and an unpaid item case was over opened and on my video premiere that came out on what was it Tuesday on that Tuesday I was chatting and we were talking about it uh, while my what sold video was premiering and I kid you not five minutes after the premiere was over this person finally paid and I was so excited um, with eBay the price you see on the screen here is not always the price that the item actually sold for so this did not sell for 350 which would have been even more exciting but this was an offer I received for $200 and I accepted it uh, I offered free shipping just because it's such an so, such an expensive sale I was like yes I'll ship that for free so um, it sold through the global shipping program and also via promoted listing I promote all my listings at 
around 2%. I think I may have had this at a little bit higher rate. I'm not sure. Just because I figured this is kind of an acquired taste and I don't know how many people look for this on a regular basis. Such a beautiful skirt. Oh my God, I can't even handle it. Um, I'm going to show you the label to Christian Lacroix. And yeah, so this sold for $200 with free shipping. The buyer is in Spain, but because of the global shipping program, I just had to ship it to Kentucky. And shipping wasn't that expensive. I think I had to ship it priority because it was just a pound with, you know, all the packaging and the box and everything. It came out to a pound. The skirt itself didn't actually weigh that much. So I shipped it priority, but it was only like eight bucks or so. Okay, so $200 on this one, my highest sale to date, so exciting. So after fees and all that, I get around $175. I, um, with eBay, I always give you my total numbers at the end because eBay fees are just too hard to figure out per item, <laughs> so I'm not doing it, but uh, around $175. And this came from the bins. If you didn't see my bins haul where I showed this and was completely overwhelmed and did not know what to do with this, I will link that up above. And so hopefully they're going to be happy with their purchase. I've heard that international buyers tend to be less likely to return items. So I will <laughs> hopefully they will not find anything wrong with it. I do not accept returns technically, but if somebody's really unhappy, I will allow them. And I might rethink that policy in the future, but so far so good. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I normally start with Poshmark, but I figured we, we're going to start with eBay this week just because I wanted to show you the skirt again. Okay. And Another sale that came in right after was this pair of Lululemon Pace Rival Crop Power Luxtreme Hazy Days Capri leggings. I got these from a regular thrift store. They sold on an offer that I received for $30, which was a little bit lower than what I wanted. And I was going back and forth on this. But I remember Becky Park saying, don't be greedy. So I accepted it uh, and they sold for 30 bucks and the buyer paid shipping and they were delivered and they also sold via promoted listing. And I got them from a regular thrift store for about 350, four bucks. This Abercrombie & Fitch polka dot skater dress in navy and white, strapless, it's super cute. It's super tiny. I mean, Abercrombie, I believe they're junior sizes. It was just, I don't know, this was just such a tiny little thing. It's on my mannequin that I use for small and medium items. So I'm pretty sure I noted in the description. Let me see that it runs small. Yeah, I said juniors and I, I added measurements as always. So anyway, this sold on an offer for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. I've had this for a while. It came from the bins. It only cost me about a dollar or even less. So I was happy to see it go and it's super cute and I hope it works out for them and fits and all of that. This pair of Fabletics New Attack Powerflex Solar Capri Floral Green and Gray Leggings, uh, they sold for an offer for $20, which was way less than what I wanted. Um, it's New Attacks, Fabletics, and they retail for a chunk of money. People think that Fabletics is super cheap because you join the VIP and you get your first two pairs for, what, $12 or so? But you're still, you know, at some point you're paying the fee to be a Fabletics VIP and, and the leggings itself, they are expensive and they're good quality and all that. So I originally had those listed for $35. I did run a sale this week um, for 20% off. So they were down to $28, but this person offered me $20. And the main reason why I accepted this was A, don't be greedy. And B, they are an extra, extra small. And even though they're new with tags, I figured this they, they would sit for a while. And I've had them for a couple of months already. I picked those up from a Play-Doh's Closet 90% off sale. And these were the only item that was not part of the clearance. So technically they cost me. 10 bucks. However, everything else was so cheap that my average cost of goods came out to a dollar and 60. So that's what I'm putting down for these. Uh, so $20 uh, buyer paid shipping and I had about a dollar 60 into these. I've been getting very picky with Fabletics. Okay, this cute little pair of Harley Davidson toddler multi-color checkered casual pants in a size 2T. These sold for an offer from a buyer. We went back and forth a little bit. They ended up offering me eight and I accepted and they paid shipping. So these sold for eight via promoted listing. And yeah, they came from the bins. They weigh nothing. 
<laughs> but my average cost of goods at the bins is about a dollar. So that's what I'm putting down for these. This I showed in a thrift haul. Oh yeah, I should show this in my Goodwill outlet haul. Um, my first one on this channel, I can link it. And I just also posted an update video on the items that have sold from this haul so far. And this one was not included because it hadn't sold at the time of filming. But anyway, if you watch that video, you know. So this Be Home Maternity Striped Color Block Pregnancy Top in this burgundy, white, yellow, and gray colorway. It was cute. It was just really an Amazon brand. I picked this up mostly based on style. I didn't even realize it was maternity when I picked it up, but it does have the ruching on the side here, which does not necessarily mean it's maternity, but at the very least it's maternity friendly. But when I researched the brand, I realized it's sold on Amazon and it's a maternity brand that doesn't retail for a whole lot. I had this originally listed for 18, it was on sale. And then either I send out an offer or they send out an offer for 12. So this sold for $12 and I had about a dollar into it and the buyer paid shipping. Next up, we got my main bread and butter. And again, I did this last week too. I forgot to take off the stock photo like what am I doing I'm really trying not to get in trouble on eBay so I usually remove the stock photos when I cross list to eBay which is not to say that you can't get into trouble on Poshmark for using stock photos but it's just you know I, I feel like I'm less likely to get into trouble there. Anyway, um, this Torrid Sophie Purple Confetti Print Chiffon Double Layer Swing Cami Top. I'm pretty sure I showed this in one of my first thrift hauls on this channel. Just a cute little shell tank top. I usually don't pick up very like non-substantial pieces like this at regular thrift stores, but this was so cute. I picked it up at Goodwill and I think it cost me about $3.50. This sold for $16. Um, they bought it outright with the 20% off discount from my sale. They paid for shipping and yeah, it's on its way to its new owner and it's really cute. It was a, a 1X, which can be a harder size for Torrid to sell. Usually Torrid does better for me in the larger sizes and it's just a strappy top. How much can you really get for it but it was really cute i really liked the print and i actually debated keeping it for myself if it wouldn't sell so i'm glad it did though because i at least tripled my money on this okay my last ebay sale for this week sold via promoted listing and it sold for 18 dollars. it's this gap fit striped blue and white uh pair of leggings capris gap fit has the blackout technology so i put that in there as well um i really like selling gap fit it's it's becoming one of those active wear bread and butter brands um and this was a size large and it was a really cute style i not sure if i hauled this i may have though this had a little bit of a flaw a tiny stain down here but which i'm sure will come out if you properly strain stain treat it i just didn't feel like it um i did show this in the 50 item listing challenge video and I talked a little bit about it as I was showing the b-roll of me photographing this and listing this so it hasn't been listed for very long we did this challenge back in January and then it always takes me a little bit of time to cross list to eBay so I don't know three four weeks maybe so size large uh, leggings by Gap Fit my kit is going crazy again anyway so this sold for 18 bucks that was an offer from the buyer it's also sold via promoted listing i think i mentioned that and yeah i had about 350 four bucks into it okay let's just get my one macari sale out of the way over here it's this torrid teal peplum charmeuse charmeuse i don't actually know how to say this word i just saw other people were using it and I used it. <laughs> this Torrid top sold for $25 with free shipping on Macari. This one had so many likes on Poshmark, so much interest. Nobody took the bait. I sent out so many offers. I think um, I the last time I sent out offers, it was for 22 with discounted shipping. So nobody, nobody ended up buying it on Poshmark. And then somebody came in on Macari and I, I think I promoted this down to from 28 to 25 originally i had it listed as at 30 i don't remember in any case it sold for 25 maybe they offered me 25 and after macari fees and also after taking out my shipping cost which was three dollars and i think 85 cents i made 17 dollars and 62 cents on this 
This came from a regular thrift store, so I had about three to four bucks into it, three fifty to four dollars, uh, give or take. So still a good flip, but I've also had it for a while now, so I'm I'm happy it finally sold. Uh, but it was a cute little top, and um, again, hard size for Torrid, uh, double zero, which comes out to a medium to large in Torrid. So that's a tricky size. Maybe that's why I hadn't sold earlier, but I don't know. Anyway. That's it for Magari. Okay, so as I mentioned, Poshmark, we're going to do things differently this week just because I do not want to have all these tabs open. You will see why, because I had a lot of sales. Let's start. So this was the last item that sold last week, this Goodfellow banana button-down shirt. So we're not going to talk about that one. We're going to start over here with the Brandy Melville boxy knit sweater in maroon. It's Brandy Melville. So one size fits most, one size fits small to medium in Brandy Melville, just, just so we're clear about that. Uh, so this sold for $20, that was an offer I received, and that leaves me with 16, which is good because I got it from the bins. It was delivered, it got five stars, uh, everything is good with that one. Uh, the next item that you can see on here, this pair of Hudson Colin Flap Capri jeans um, in a size 28, sold in a bundle together with this Massimo striped ruffle accent long sleeve blouse up here. So these two items sold in a bundle. So the bundle of these two items, the Massimo and the Hudson, sold for $32. And after the Poshmark fee, I received $25.60. The jeans came from a regular thrift store. Somebody had, and you can see it a little bit here. Maybe I, I will open this one up. Um, somebody had distressed them themselves. And so I knew they were not going to go for quite as much. And then this Massimo striped ruffle top, I received that for free through next door. So I really only had about four bucks into this whole bundle. Let me show you the jeans here. Yeah, this was definitely not fact definitely not factory distressed, but I think if you just keep distressing it a little bit more, it could look cute. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. This was my first time finding Hudson, so I was excited, but I believe this is the older label Hudson. Yeah, you can see it up there, this Hudson label. These sold in a bundle for $32 with this top that I received for free, so good sale overall. Very happy with that. Uh, now, if it, if it could get delivered already, that would be lovely because that's been bouncing back and forth for a while. Another sale early on this week, this Fashion Nova New Attack Girls Night Out dress in leopard uh, in a size small. I think I had this listed for about $29 or so because it was new with tax. And even though the tax had $35 on the Fashion Nova website right now, this particular dress is listed for $45, which I don't understand, but whatever. Um, this ended up being an offer that somebody sent to me for $15 and it was the beginning of the week and I just wanted to move things out. And this came from the bins and weighs nothing. So I had less than a dollar into this one. So it sold for $15 and that leaves me with $12. And I actually did not mean to click into that, but here we are. I'm, I'm getting used to this new format of doing a what's sold. It's a little bit chaotic, but overall, if you like this format or if you're okay just seeing the items um, in these little pictures here, as opposed to me scrolling through and having all the tabs open, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you just don't care and you just want me to talk about what actually sold, let me know in the comments as well. So let's do that. Um, next up was this pair of native star print water shoes. I recently purchased those at the regular thrift store for about three bucks and they sold for 12, which was an offer I received from a buyer. So I make $9.05. So I about tripled my money on these and they sold really fast. I've been enjoying picking up little native shoes and other little like toddler size shoes if they're a good brand. Lately, uh, they've been really quick flips for me. Uh, same goes for Crocs and such. So definitely something to be on the lookout for if you can get them cheap enough. They were not in the greatest of condition. I cleaned them up, but you can even see in this picture, they do have a little bit of wear in the front, but they're kids shoes. I feel like it's to be expected. And summer is coming. So little water shoes like this are, are flying off the shelves for me. Next up, we got another bundle, as you can probably guess. Uh, this bundle of these two energy by Barco. Oh, I just realized that it sounds like energy when you say NRG. Okay, did not realize that when I hauled these in my <laughs> three-part bins haul recently. So these were not listed for very long. 
God. I'm a mess, you guys. I'm sorry. If you're still watching, thank you so much. Um, these sold in a bundle, and I send out a bundle offer for $28 with discounted shipping. That's the $2 and 46 uh, cent shipping discount. So I made $19.94 on these two items. This one was new with tags, and then this one wasn't, but it was in great condition. And they were not the same size, but in the same size range. So, so I listed them separately. And this person ended up uh, accepting my offer on the bundle after liking both of them. So yeah, $19.94 on both of them. And combined, um, combining these two, I had about two bucks into this bundle. So two bucks into almost 20. And they were not listed long. I can do this all day. Also not listed very long. And I showed this in my three-part bins haul was this Hardy Davidson toddler track jacket in black and orange. This one sold on an offer from a buyer for 14. I think I had it listed for about 18 or 20 maybe. Gotta love reasonable offers. It's a kid's item. I don't want that much for it. So it sold for 14. I'm getting $11.05. And I picked it up from the bins. So I had about a dollar into it. And yeah, did not have this very long. Next up, we have this Loft New Attack Marissa Crop Black Capri pens in a size 12. I picked these up from the bins a little while ago, maybe two months ago. At the beginning of the year, they sold for $20. That was an offer I sent out to Likers. So after the shipping discount and after Poshmark fees, I make $13.54. They were not listed for very long, so glad that I picked these up and that they sold. And we have another baby bundle. Uh, I had this listed for 20. Somebody offered me 10 and I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> I need stuff out of my house. And this is a solid bundle here of baby clothes, but it's also, uh, I think it was, yeah, size three to six months. So I didn't really feel like I needed to counter or anything like that. Uh, so I make $7.05 uh, on these. And these are just from my own kiddos closet from the storage unit. I posted a video about that as well. So if you want to check that out, I will have it linked somewhere if I have enough room to link more videos. Uh, every time I try to link all the videos I mentioned in my What's Sold videos, YouTube tells me I can only link up to five. So next up, we got this Lucky Brand Floral Flutter Sleeve Blouse in Gray. This one came from the bins i'm pretty sure second guessing myself but pretty sure this came from the bins because i've kind of stopped picking up lucky brand at regular thrift stores i barely even pick it up at the bins anymore either uh this was an offer from the buyer for 15 and i made 12 so still a good flip even if it had come from a regular thrift store this would have been a good flip i did pick this up because it was an extra large so i thought that was that was a good size and yeah i didn't have it listed for super long either i never look at my spreadsheet before doing these what's all so if if i'm fumbling through it and if i don't remember where something comes from it's not because i don't have it documented it's just because i don't look at it okay um this pair of lee upcycled dyi bleach dip dye ombre shorts in pink and purple. These used to be a pair of jeans that I thrifted for myself from the bins and then it did have some like not discoloration but after washing it it looked like there were bleach spots like not actually spots but I don't know. Um, it just it didn't look they didn't look as good as anymore and I went through a let's crop all the jeans and turn them into shorts and bleach dye them and whatever phase and so this was my little project here. I hope they liked them. <laughs> uh, they sold for 15 bucks that that was an offer I received and I made 12 and again I got them from the bins for about a dollar I wore them for a while and then I cropped them and bleached them so I did put more effort and work into these but they sold so I'm happy about that next up we got a pair of torrid jeans this is what my third torrid item to sell this week which means she's back she's my bread and butter I love her Thank you, Torrid. Uh, this is a pair of Tuxedo Stripe Stretch Jeggings. Let me open these up in a new tab so I can show you the detail on these. Um, they sold for an offer or on an offer to Liker for $23. So after a fees and shipping discount, I made $15.94. Uh, so they had this Tuxedo Stripe on the side here. It was kind of hard to show in my own pictures, so I added a few more stock photos. Please don't come for me. It's just, yeah, you can barely see it in these pictures. And I used to do flat lace, but they're really killing my back. So 
I'm doing hanging pictures of jeans now, but I absolutely hate them. So <laughs> that's where we're at. In any case, I picked these up from Close Mentor. So my cost of goods was a little bit higher uh, on these, about six bucks. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I made almost 16. So that's still fine. That's still good. This Talbot's uh, tied blouse peasant top in bright orange uh, in a petite size eight. I picked this up from the bins a while ago. I sent it to ThreadUp. ThreadUp didn't want it for some reason. And so they sent it back to me and I listed it because I thought it was really cute. And I guess somebody else agreed and they sent me an offer for 14 and I accept it. And I made $11 and five cents and I have about a dollar into this item. Next up, we have something else I just showed in my three-part bins haul. It's this Guess New Attack Odelie Wrap Bodysuit in black. And this sold on an offer to Liker for 20 bucks. And so after fees and shipping discount, I make $13.54. And I had less than a dollar, I want to say. Actually, no, I had a dollar and like 17 cents or so into that. It was part of my three-part bins haul. And I believe that was my cost of goods on that one. I have another bundle, but it's kind of split up here on my screen. So for the bundle that's sold, which is very exciting because it's my first sale that went to a viewer of this YouTube channel. And I'm so stoked about it and so grateful. I'm so grateful I can barely talk. So um, this bundle, this logo Lori Goldstein uh, teal tunic shirt uh, with pockets in the front. I showed this in a recent quick car thrift haul and then this pair of prana memento capri teal leggings these capri leggings and this logo lori goldstein tunic top sold in a bundle to michelle and i will put her information down below you should check out her closet her instagram and all of that good good stuff um michelle is always hanging out in all the chats uh, on all the reseller channels i watch and she's always one of the first ones to comment on my videos so Michelle, thank you so much for purchasing these two items from me. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you uh, get lots of lounging and exercising and whatever it is you're going to be doing in these in. I love both of these pieces because teal is one of my favorite colors. So the bundle sold for $46 with free shipping. I gave Michelle free shipping on that because she's a viewer and you know, that's just what you do. Um, so I made $29.35. They both came from different thrift stores. I don't think I showed the Prana leggings anywhere, but I showed the Lori Goldstein tunic top. So I had about six, seven bucks into this whole bundle. So again, Michelle, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I hope you love uh, everything when it arrives. Okay, so we got to talk about this next sale and then definitely this one. Um, let's talk about the American Eagle High Rise Jagging in Black. So these I picked up recently from a regular thrift store. Um, jeans are priced pretty high there. They're priced like, I mean, not pretty high, but you know, compared to my usual cost of goods, they were usually priced around like $7.50. But again, I average everything out and my average cost of goods was around right around $4, I want to say on that trip. So I recently listed these. They're high rise jack in in black. They're size 12, which is a good size. That's primarily why I picked them up from a regular thrift store as opposed to the bins. Uh, usually I don't pick up American Eagle from regular thrift stores unless they're priced super low. They were short size, which I feel like did not really matter and was not that noticeable either. It's kind of like an ankle jean. These American Eagle high rise jack -ins, they were not listed for very long. They were listed for 25 on both parts mark and ebay and somebody on ebay sent me an offer after they were already on sale for 20 they sent me an offer for 12 dollars and normally i would just counter and i would always you know advise everybody not to decline offers and just counter but i had a really crappy day that day and it was 100 you know nothing that had anything to do with this offer or the buyer or whatever I just had a bad day and I had to decline and you should not make emotional decisions like that <laughs> with your business, let me tell you, but I did. And it's, you know what, you just, you have crappy days and you make decisions like that. And then later, maybe you regret it. Uh, I got away with it this week because somebody came in on Poshmark and offered me 20 for these. And so, yeah, these sold for 20. So that worked out, but in general, don't do the things I do. Just don't decline offers, just counter. And if they don't accept, then that's that. But try not to let your emotions run your business. But also just give yourself grace because 
sometimes you just have a shitty day and you don't make the best decisions and it's fine. Like, it'll be fine. That's just my little PSA for today. So they ended up selling for 20 and I made 16, which is great because I had about, like I said, three, four bucks into these uh, and they sold super fast. They were listed for, I want to say, a week, maybe less. So I'm glad that worked out. Okay, uh, this was another exciting sale of the week. If we're not counting the fancy skirt, this was probably my most exciting uh, sale of this week. This pair of Artful Dodger embroidered streetwear denim jeans. Let me pull these up in a new tab because I feel like I need to properly show them. So a uh, little bit of story time. I sold a pair of Artful Dodger jeans not too long ago on eBay and those came from the bins. They had this like knife embroidery on the back. And if you watched that what sold video, you heard me mention that the buyer was taking their time paying and I had pointed out very nicely to them that an unpaid item case will be opened. And they were really rude about that. And so I was kind of hoping they wouldn't pay because I also let that first pair of jeans go for way too low of a price. I think they had offered me 25 and I kind of regretted that. But that pair had come from the bin. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. But I also told myself, if I ever find this brand again, I'm not going to let it go for that cheap. So I was, again, I had, I had emotions in this, but again, it worked out. So... This is a brand that can go for way more, as you can see. And just just look at this pair of jeans. I mean, this is all embroidery. I don't know if it's coming across the best way in these pictures, but this is just, this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I mean, if, if that's your style too. Um, it did have some wear here uh, near the hem. And I noted that of course, but I, I think this is just such a wild pair of jeans that it just doesn't really matter. I don't think so. Nobody's gonna look at the hem. Everybody's gonna look at this embroidery. So these I actually picked up from a regular thrift store because I knew that the brand could do well. And also I kind of wanted to like redeem myself, I guess, and, and sell them for a lot more than I did the first time around. So these were marked up at the regular thrift store. I think they were marked up to like $9 or so, but my average cost of goods came out to around four. So that's what I'm going with. And I had them listed for 65. I, for some reason, did not have them cross-listed to eBay. I don't know why, because I, I thought they would for sure sell on eBay. They did have some good amount of interest. Anyway, I had them listed for 65. They did sell for 50, which is really what I was shooting for. And I'm excited when I received that offer because that's just such a reasonable offer. Again, make reasonable offers, people. I accepted a $50 offer and after fees and such, I made 40. And like I said, I had about four bucks into these and just happy they sold for such a good amount. I will definitely pick this brand up again if there is, you know, heavy embroidery and such on it and if it's in good shape and if the price is right, of course. Another quick flip that kind of surprised me is this Terry New With Tech Breakaway Short Sleeve Cycling Jersey. I will also open this in a new tab just to show you what the label looks like. I picked this up recently from a regular thrift store and I picked it up because it's plus size and because it was New With Tags. I did not really know anything about the brand but here's what it looks like. The comms, I <laughs> I did not look them up in the store and then I looked them up later and realized that the comps were not that great, but I had this listed for, I wanna say 25 and somebody offered me 20 very quickly. It sold within days. And so, yeah, I took that offer because I had about uh, three, four bucks into this. So uh, Terry Nubatech breakaway short sleeve cycling jersey. I make 16 after Poshmark fees. Another surprising sale that came in real quick. Um, this theory Nubatech tiny T2. That's just the name of the style. Uh, in this neon blue, it's Pima cotton uh, and it is a size small. Yeah, um, it's a size small. It was a basic, it's, it's a basic t-shirt. It's a basic turquoise aqua blue t-shirt that had tags on it that said it retails for $75 and I was just like what I mean I know theory is expensive but it's a basic shirt you guys still baffled so I picked this up from a regular thrift store actually gonna open this in a new tab as well I picked this up from a regular thrift store for about five bucks I sent it to thread up it got a lot of attention but nobody bought it and so I decided to list it now thread up sent this back and I was a little miffed because uh they sent it back with a little surface spot over here at the shoulder which I was not excited for but because it was new attack I also did not want to wash it but I mean look at it it's so basic and also in case you don't believe me here's here's the tag 75 dollars for a basic t-shirt I just don't get it 
I want to say I had this listed for 28, which <laughs> I felt silly. I'm like, this it's a t-shirt. Anyway, I had it listed for 28. I sent out $22 offers with the shipping discount and somebody accepted. And I made $15.14, which is more than I would have made on ThreadUp. So I just about tripled my money. I did not list this long ago. I listed it maybe a week and a half ago. So it sold fast. Next up, we got this pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, Burgundy Maryland Straight Leg Denim Jean. Color denim does not do well. Don't ask me why I picked pick these up. Also, after I picked these up, they came from the bins. They did have a flaw. Uh, somebody had cut the two belt loops that are on the sides, like the back one was still there. And then the ones in the front were still there. But the two on the sides were cut for some reason. Um, and I hadn't realized that while I was at the bins, but I had picked them up anyways, because I think I thought I wanted to just try out Not Your Daughter's Jeans. So in any case, um, would I pick up color denim again? Probably not. In any case, these sold for $20. That was an offer I received from a liker. And so I make 16 and they came from the bins and I've had them for a few months. So I was happy to move them out. Torrid floral navy blue crop leggings. I showed these in one of my car thrift hauls. I think my very first one. So these were just a basic pair of leggings. They sold for $12. That was an offer I received from a liker. So I made nine, uh, which means I just about doubled my money because my average cost of goods that day was around four. Not what I would usually spend on these leggings, but I also knew that they would sell and make me a little profit and they were really easy to photograph and list. So they sold fast. And I think that's my fourth torrent this week. This pair of White House Black Market, the Skimmer Cowboy Western Lace-Up Capri Jeans. I don't know if you can see it in this picture here. So let me pull it up. They had this little bit of like suede leather or something like that. Yeah, vegan suede, also faux suede leather lace-up detail at the ankles. I picked these up a while ago at the bins. So I've had those sitting around. I dropped the price on these for Closet Clear Out because I had a recent liker. I didn't do the whole, you know, communicating back and forth spiel. I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop the price. They have six likes. Maybe somebody will pick them up for 16 and somebody did. So they bought them for 16. I get $12 and 80 cents. I had them, got them from the bins. So had about a dollar into those. So still a good profit. I've just been sitting on them for a while. Okay, so next up we have another bundle. And again, the bundle is broken up on here. I don't know. So the bundle consists of these Coconuts by Matisse Cimarron Cowgirl Boots in tan and aqua. I think I got them from a regular thrift store. So I have about five bucks into those. This Desigual floral embellished chiffon overlay top that I got for free through Nextdoor. And then this Casual Studio embroidered patchwork blazer jacket that I also got for free from Nextdoor. So this three-piece bundle, it sold for $48. So after Poshmark fee, I made $38.40. Oh, this was an offer I received. So they bundled them. I think I may have sent an offer, but then they responded. I don't know. Anyway, $48 on this bundle and I made $38.40. And because two of those items were free, I only had about five bucks into that. The casual studio blazer jacket I've had for about a year now. So I'm happy that's gone. And that one is essentially free after you tell you up these two but that's totally fine. Happy for bundle sales. I made a lot of bundle sales this week, which is unusual for me. Next up, this Madewell Nolan Rip Front Cardigan, uh, open front cardigan in pink, in this dusty pink color. I picked this up from the bins not too long ago. It was an okay shape. I noted that it had some wash wear. It sold for 20. That was an offer I received. And so I'm making 16 and I have about a dollar into it. Next up up here, we have these Athleta Modest Athletic Board Shorts in black with pockets. I'm pretty sure I showed these in a car haul because I mentioned that I would list them as modest board shorts because they're a little bit longer. And so these sold for $20. That was an offer to Liker. So I made $13.54 and they came from a regular thrift store. So I had about $3.50, I think, into those. Then we have this Lulu's Nubatec Arlene Navy Blue off the shoulder top in a size small. I sourced this from ThreadUp and ThreadUp had the weirdest picture on this top. I think they had it listed as a skirt, but then half of, half of the, this child is so loud, half of the picture was also cut off but it was listed as Lulu's as a skirt new attack and they had it dumped down to like three bucks or so or four bucks. And I was like, 
this picture is horrible. Whatever this item actually is, is probably really cute. So let me pick it up. So um, average cost of goods for thread up for me is usually between five and seven bucks. I think I had a five into this one. So I had this listed for a while and it had a lot of likers and I wanted a little bit more for it, but somebody sent me a $15 offer and I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's just, let's just take this and keep it moving. And so I made $12. So about doubled my money on this and that's fine. Then we have this J. Jill black sequin open front casual cardigan. It had sequins all over, which I find with, especially with black is so hard to photograph. So let me show you a close up real quick. This came from the bins. Uh, I, yeah, it's still, it looks like it has, you know, spots and fuzzies here. Here we go. This is what it looked like in terms of texture. So sequins all over, it's a size large. This sold, um, I believe this was an offer that a buyer sent to me. So it sold for 20 bucks and I make 16, came from the bins. It did not get any attention until this person came and bought it. So happy to see that one go out tomorrow. We're almost there, you guys. We are almost there. We have one more bundle. <laughs> this is the week of bundles. I should I should call the video the week of bundles, really. I never sell that many bundles. It's, it must be the stimulus checks, honestly. Anyway, so out of those last four items, can you guess what the bundle is? It's not the spider hoodie. <laughs> that one is not in the bundle. But the bundle was this Ashley Stewart New Attack Houndstooth Vegan uh, Leather Skirt. That's the full name. This Nike Golf Athleisure Golf Skirt in a Dusty Fuchsia. And then this Lane Bryant New Attack Striped Halter Summer Dress. This bundle sold for $62 with free shipping. That was an offer I sent out. There was a little bit back and forth because the buyer couldn't see the free shipping for some reason when she went to accept it. I don't know what happened but ultimately I guess it went through and so I make $42.15 on this this and this the Nike golf skirt and the Lane Bryant new attack dress they both came from different thrift stores so I had about I want to say four bucks into each one of them and then the Ashley Stewart new attack houndstooth vegan leather skirt that one came from Plato's closet from a 90% off sale and so all in all, I had about, uh, let's say, nine bucks, maybe if we're aiming high, between seven and nine dollars into this bundle. And I turned it into forty two dollars and 15 cents. Uh, and like I said, that's after the free shipping, which I just felt like offering that day because I was excited to see all these items go. So good little bundle sale. And then my last late night Saturday night sale, this spider new attack men's textured spider hoodie at uh, the spider is the texture part here. You can see it a little bit. I showed this in my Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul. So I picked this up on a yellow tag sale. I had about eight to $9 into this and it sold for 28. That was an offer I received. I had it listed for 40, which I knew was high, but you know, I figured we'll try it. So it sold for 28. I just accepted that offer late last night because I when you see my total numbers in a minute here, you might understand why, because I really wanted to hit a specific number, which I didn't quite hit, but close enough. Anyway, so I accepted this and I got $22.40. Like I said, about eight, nine dollars into this. So almost, almost tripled my money. And that's okay for me for retail arbitrage. So happy that that sold. I didn't have it for very long, maybe a month or yeah, probably about a month listed for about a month. Oh my god, that took forever. I don't, I, I feel like I started recording this video an hour ago. So also, if you want to shop my closet, all the information is up here. It's just at Veronica Mitka, um, just like my YouTube channel and just like my Instagram. I did, If you put in Veronica Mitka, you should be able to find me on all the platforms. I'm, I'm trying to keep it very streamlined. Uh, also, if you're wondering what Veronica Mitka stands for, it's just Veronica with a K. So let's uh, stop the screen share and talk about my total numbers for this week. You may be able to tell that it was a really good week and I sold a ton of stuff. And so let's look at the total numbers and how much I actually was able to make as a part-time reseller this week. So let's talk about those numbers. If I'm looking over here, it's because today I actually have them on my computer screen instead of my usual post-it. I don't know what's going on. That's just what's going on. That's, that's just what ha what's happening. Okay, so this week I sold 42 items slash listings because sometimes a listing contains more than one item. And that comes out to one on Macari, eight on eBay, including the skirt, 
which technically sold the previous week but was paid this week and 35 on Poshmark. I'm gonna say that's the most I've ever sold on Poshmark in one week um, especially when I wasn't running a sale or anything even when I was running a sale I would not sell that much so it's been a good week so thank you Poshmark. My one Macari sale after fees and such and shipping left me with $17.62 my eight eBay sales came out to $283.04. Again, that's after shipping, that's after eBay fees, but it's before taxes. And then my Poshmark sales, my 35 Poshmark sales, came out to $493.59. That is unheard of and amazing and i'm just i'm so completely baffled by this number i so i, I made almost 500 dollars on poshmark alone this week and then ebay wasn't too shabby either granted it's because of uh, the skirt but even if we take out the skirt that was still a fantastic week for me so total numbers 44 sales so my total for this week in sales after platform fees and after shipping but before cost of goods and taxes is $794.25. Like how? <laughs> how? How did I make basically $800 this week? I just, I'm so, so amazed by this. And let me just clarify. Yeah, I did list and you know, my closet was being shared. But I didn't list that much. I didn't go that hard. I was feeling like crap most of this week. So the fact that I've been making so many sales, I, th I think I can attribute a large portion of that to people getting their stimulus checks. So anyway, I'm just really, really excited with this number. And when I look at it, you know, I was doing the math and that is almost how much I make in my full-time job. <laughs> so that's kind of a sobering thought. And also that tells you that people in education are horribly underpaid, but that's that's a different soapbox that I'm not sure I wanna get on today. It does give me hope and confidence that this is a solid part-time income for me that who knows, maybe one day can turn into a full-time income. <sighs> There's a lot going on in my life work-wise right now that may make that happen sooner rather than later. And I am, I have all kinds of feelings about that. I just don't want to get into it at this point. But if you're interested, you know, hit me up on Instagram and we can talk about all the weirdness that's going on in my work life. Who knows for how much longer I'm going to be a part-time reseller and a full-time educator. Maybe that'll switch around. So those almost $800 spread out across 44 sales. That comes out to an average profit of $18.05 per item, which is much higher than my previous weeks. Usually I'm right around 15, maybe $16 per item. So that's pretty good and pretty solid, especially when you consider that my average cost of goods is right around $2.30-ish right now. This has been a fantastic week in terms of my numbers and what's going into my bank account once everything is accepted. So I'm really excited for that. I'm happy that people are shopping and choosing my closet to uh, spend their money so it's been pretty exciting and i'm really happy about it do i think i'm gonna have another week like this next week no absolutely not but you know stick around and let's find out what's happening in the weeks to come and if i can manage to grow my business while also trying to remain sane and work a full-time gig and be a mom and do all the other things we'll find out i hope you enjoyed this what sold video i hope you'll stick around for more i have lots of playlists of what sold videos unboxings thrift hauls all that good stuff i will link some somewhere on the screen or also in the description down below and yeah have a fantastic rest of your day and rest of your week and i look forward to seeing you in another video very very soon thank you so much bye <laughs>